Now we're going to add another multiple choice question, but this time it's going to have multiple answers to it. So again, question name can be the same as the question text, or we can enter a question name that will allow us to know which question this may be. Just to show you, I'll enter chapter 8, question 10. So for the question, I'll type in, what are some resources available in Moodle? So we're going to have multiple answers. We can still shuffle the choices, that's fine. And just to show you how they look, we'll number them 1 through 5, or however many we do. So some resources might be a file. folder and let's do a third one of web page and then we know a questionnaire and a quiz are not resources they are activities so a questionnaire and a quiz are gonna stay at none because there's no credit you would have to answer all three correct to get full credit. So since there are three questions, you will receive 33.33% for each correct answer. If there were two correct answers, this percentage would be 50%. Once we've completed all of the answer choices, again, we could add some more, we could give feedback. And this penalty for each correct try, we can say since there's three answers we want to make sure they answer all three of those so for each one we're going to do 33.3 percent that way if they get two right and one incorrect they will only get 66 percent of the question correct again we could add some hints and some tags and we're going to click save changes